Hi, my name is Sean Freund. I'm with the Triton Mercury Pro Staff Team, and I want to show you a little bit about how I set up my 216 Fish Hunter. First of all, we got a lot of storage in here, because if you're any, anybody's like me, I take a lot of stuff with me. Tons of storage, that's a big key, because I don't want stuff laying around my boat. When I'm fishing, I'm fishing. I don't need to be crawling around things and anything. I got plenty of room to store wherever I need be. Uh, that's a huge, huge thing is how it's important to me. Another storage here, extra storage. This is where I keep all of my, my safety equipment, my flares, my first aid kit, my fire extinguisher. Uh, that's a big safety thing. I'm a big safety guy in the water. Okay, next what I have here is a big part, big part of what I do when I fish. It's a huge rod locker storage. It holds 12 rods, but technically I can get more in there than that. I go from trolling rods, I need jig rods, I need slip bobber rods, I need lead core rods. With this route, everything's gonna be in here. Below this, I have all my battery compartments for my trolling motor. That's where they're all secured down nice and tight. I don't have to worry about them. They're out of harm's way. One of the other things that I have here is, uh, it's a nice console. You got nice large windscreens here. Um, these are available in, in a full windshield um, if you prefer that type of model. Uh, large glove box. And if there's anything, there's all little kinds of things. You cell phones and weight scales and all kinds of things. Uh, I want to show you a little bit about the console. It's a state-of-the-art console. It's almost like a little cockpit. You got all your controls on your right-hand side down here, easy, ex easily accessible uh, for any any type with your your build, your your courtesy lights, your aerator systems, anything that controls the boat. This is where it's going to happen. Uh, full flush mount uh, electronics um, available in any size that you're going to put in here. Anything that's on the market will fit in this in this console here. Gauges now I, now with the motors I have. Um, I have smart craft gauges. This tells me what my boat is doing and how it's performing. Extra room here for an extra electronics. If guys are going to be fishing two, two types of electronics here, you have plenty of room up here to mount another electronics for your viewing needs. Plenty of seating. Okay, now normally I don't take a lot of these seats out with me, but what, what's a big thing to do is if you're taking family, if you're taking friends out, kids, whatever, uh, you have support and I want them to have nice seats in here so so the way I have it arranged I have four nice Triton, Triton seats in here uh, new design they, they fit well they're, they're very supportive uh, so that's a big key most of the time like I said I won't have this out so this whole back end is going to be a ton of room one other thing is a big thing for guys that are fishing this is where I store all my crankbaits, all my lures, my jigs, everything that I'm gonna be putting in the water to catch these big walleyes. I, I have this on both starboard and port sides. Uh, it holds up to 20 tackle, 20 tackle storage uh, compartments. So that's a big key for me. Another thing here is too, is like we, we work in the inclement weather. Um, you just notice here, I have some snap-out carpeting. Snap-out carpeting is a big thing. If it ever gets dirty, ever gets wet, you can pull it out, dry it out, throw it back in. You're all set to go for the next day and have it all nice and ready. Okay, let's talk some motors for a minute. Uh, for this year, I'm gonna be running a, a 300 Pro Verado. Um, it's a four-stroke motor, very quiet, tons of power. It's got a supercharger on it. It's a 21 and a half foot boat, so I need a lot of power to get me going, and it's gonna take me wherever I wanna go in big water, flat water, rivers, streams, lakes, uh, it doesn't matter. One other thing here I have here is my 99 Pro Kicker. Now what this does is I do a lot of trolling. So, so you can see how a power trim like this, a 99 Pro, it's a four stroke. And the nice thing about these four strokes is I don't have to add oil to them. I can turn them on, they're just like a car. You turn them on and you're ready to go. And then one final thing I want to tell you guys is, as a walleye fisherman, I like to keep my fish alive and I want to get them back into the lake. When I'm fishing tournaments, that's key because uh, those fish are going to be one day caught by somebody else. Here's the big key. Huge live well. Big live well. You got plenty of room in here for these fish to roam. As you can see, they have a pro airflow system that keeps these fish alive. It gets extra oxygen into the water. That's about how I set up my Triton 216 Fish Hunter. If you ever have any other questions, you can visit your local Triton dealer or log on to www.tritonboats.com and they'll be glad to help you out. They took me fishing, they're going to take America fishing.